All right, your favorite grapes may not make it to as many glasses. We've got some sour news on the cost of wine. Yeah. That's right. Prices are up and wine production across the globe is down 5% from last year. Now mm. that's according to the International Organization of Vine and Wine. Ooh. Severe weather like floods, drought, and frost hurt this year's grape crop, especially in places like France and South America. There is a bit of good news though. The quality of the 2016 vintage shouldn't suffer. So, so the wine is still good. It's just going to be more expensive. More costly. Yeah. yeah. Are you wine drinker once here yeah, and there once in a while yeah yeah at dinner while. maybe you know we'll see I'm not like a come home to work yeah after work a glass a night girl but They'll always have the cheap bottles if you're not uh, <laughs> Too much well, of I totally wine buy it at CVS. Right? <laughs> I mean, don't get it twisted. <laughs> and the notion of pairing food with wine is centuries old, but now science, science. is backing this up. That's right. New scientific studies test the be best combinations of cheese and wine, and they're telling us why they go together so well. It was a rough job for 31 <laughs> testers, but someone's got to do it, right? <laughs> the Journal of Food Science broke up the sampling into five one hour sessions held on separate days. Basically, they took four wines, both red and white, and four different cheeses, some creamy, some hard. And first, the tasters tried and rated the wines by themselves using flavor characteristics like sweet, spicy, herby. Then the cheese was added, and researchers found each one influenced the wine's tastes in different ways, like making the citrus notes more intense or upping the red notes, or red fruit notes. They say the fat in the cheese coats your mouth and reduces the effect of the tannins in the wine. So food scientists also found the testers' palates became surprisingly more sensitive as the experiment went on. They thought mm. maybe they would kind of yeah. like, be overwhelmed, I guess, by all the flavors. That but. makes a lot of sense, though. I actually spent my honeymoon in Napa Valley doing oh, some nice. wine tasting, but I can see that now, how it does kind of reduce the, the flavors that way. And that's why also chocolate is so good with wine, I think. And strawberries and, and fruit. Anything. And steak. No. <laughs> and, I mean, come on now. I think it's a little bit of everything. All right, they say laughter is the best medicine. One group about to prove it. Plus how you can howl, how your howl, how your howl, howl, how your cackle <laughs> can help others too. <laughs>